You must choose Israel or the Palestinians. Well, that's at least the decision the media outlets would like for you to make. Once again, the Middle East is aflame. Fake news is flourishing and darkness is consuming people's hearts in the Middle East and around the world. How easily hatred finds its way into unguarded hearts. How often we as believers get sucked into seeking political responses to spiritual problems. We all long for justice and truth and can easily sacrifice precious kingdom time, constantly trying to correct false narratives. However, we at One for Israel refuse to go down the political path and we want to challenge followers of the Messiah around the world to reconsider how they view the current circumstances in the Middle East. One for Israel is not a political ministry. We are a gospel ministry. We still believe the best way to bless Israel and Palestinians is with Yeshua. We must constantly remind ourselves again and again that Israel's greatest need is not peace with Gaza. Of course, we long for peace and quiet for everyone's sake in the region. Yet, we know there is no leader on the planet who can replace deep-seated satanic hatred with love. But our Savior is the Prince of Peace. He can and does change hearts of stone into hearts of flesh. He can and does remove the middle wall of hostility and makes Jews and Arabs one new person in the Messiah. Time and time again, we are witnessing the total transformation of people who were once filled with hatred. Time and time again, we have watched former enemies embrace one another as brothers and sisters. Friends, in this tense time, people are seeking for answers and meaning. People who are stuck at home in Israel and in Gaza have more time to watch our Hebrew and Arabic evangelistic videos, more opportunities to hear the gospel and be saved. We urge you to keep praying for Palestinians and Israelis' spiritual salvation, to pray for ongoing unity on our staff and students made up of both Jews and Arabs. Pray for us that God continues to give us laser focus to keep on doing what God calls us to do, share the good news and teach His Word. And please pray that people in Israel and around the Middle East will hear the voice of the Savior calling to them, come to me above noise of explosions and civil unrest. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May they prosper who love you. May peace be within your walls and prosperity within your palaces. For the sake of my brothers and my friends, I will now say, may peace be within you.